Heat. It is an important thing in life, but like most things, it is only needed in specific amounts. If you have too much, you die, and if you have too little, you die. Luckily, our body was made to fight major temperature changes to prevent death. This is body temperature, in plain English. Homeostasis. This is a big word, but it really just means how the body stays stable on the inside. A big factor of homeostasis is body temperature. Have you ever gotten sick and had a fever? This is your body trying to maintain homeostasis. Your body raises its temperature to try and fight off bad cells. By raising the temperature, your body burns the bad cells. After the bad cells are gone, your body returns to its normal temperature. The great outdoors. They're much different from the stability of your body. Outside, temperature changes. Since your body can't control the outside, it has to change inside. Have you ever been outside during the summer and began sweating? Your body produces sweat, which then evaporates, carrying off teeny tiny amounts of heat with it. That's one reaction your body has to heat, but it's not the only one. Inside your body, the tubes that carry your blood get bigger when you get too hot. This allows more cool blood to flow through your body, cooling it off. Also inside, your body slows the process of breaking down food. If none of these things work and your body stays too hot, you will get heat stroke, which can be deadly if not treated immediately. Just the opposite, your body reacts to cold temperatures as well. If it gets too cold, your body begins shivering and your hair rises. When you get goosebumps, your skin thickens slightly. This helps trap heat inside better. On the inside, your body begins breaking down food faster to create heat. Also, the tubes that carry your blood get smaller to keep your blood from cooling your body off. Once again, if none of these actions work, you get hypothermia, which can be deadly if not treated immediately. Here is another way of looking at body temperature. Imagine a house. While a house and your body are two completely different things, they handle heat similarly. When your house is too warm, you open the windows to release the trapped heat. When your body gets too warm, it releases heat in ways such as sweating. When a house is too cold, you close all the doors and windows and begin running the heater. If it's really cold, you might even have to put on some extra clothes. When your body is too cold, it does not sweat but instead shivers to create heat. Shivering, as well as faster digestion, is like your body's furnace. Your goosebumps act like extra clothing by adding an extra layer and thickening your skin. Just like how you like to keep your house at a certain temperature, your body tries to maintain a temperature between 97 degrees Fahrenheit and 98 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the person. I am Matthias Dean, and this has been Body Temperature in Plain English.